So we've talked about server actions that we can kick off at any point, and we've talked about automated actions that are kicked off by something changing in the record. But what if we want to kick off an action every month, or every week, or every hour, or every day? We want it to happen based on the passage of time. Well, that's where scheduled actions come in useful. Scheduled actions can do everything that server actions and automated actions can do, but again, it's based on the passage of time. So let's go ahead and jump in and add scheduled actions to your bag of tricks. So here we are back in my demo. Make sure you have developer mode turned on and let's go ahead and type scheduled and go to scheduled actions. So before we hop in, you can see there are a lot of different scheduled actions that run. Sometimes something may not be working correctly in Odoo, and it's because one of these things got turned off. So let's go ahead and create our own. We're going to go into New, and it's going to pop up a very familiar looking format for us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call this Send Wife Flowers. Okay, a good thing to be reminded of, and you should be doing it on a periodic basis. And honestly, thinking about this on a company level, we're going to say Send Significant other flowers. So what we're going to do is we're going to say each one of our employees can set a significant other. And because we spend a lot of time working and sometimes it's a strain on them, we want to show thanks by sending them flowers. So we're going to go ahead and say we want this to run every month. We want it to start, hmm, let's say next Monday. Okay. Number of calls. We want this to go on forever. So we're going to go ahead and set this as a negative number, which actually sets this to an infinite number of calls. You can obviously limit that and say, well, we only want to do this five times and then we'll do something else. But for right now, we want this to be an infinite number of calls. We want it to keep running. And then we're going to go ahead and say we want this to run on our, actually, our employee table here. So stopping myself for a second, I did say we could do whatever we could do with automated actions and server actions in a scheduled action. That is true, but it takes a bit more because we have to do it through Python code. So before we get into the code, which, spoiler alert, we're not going to get into the code in this video. But if you want me to build out how you would send significant others flowers or set up a reminder for that or anything else, please drop that in the comments. I'll look at it and consider it. Okay, so some things you need to know. So with any of this code, we can actually run it manually at any time to see if it's working. What we can do real quick is say, raise user error. You are actually a pretty good person. Just one of those affirmations I need. We run manually and we'll see you are actually a pretty good person, which is nice to hear. Another thing to check, once we've got this running, is that this next execution date is changing. Now, if you're not on a dedicated server on ODSH, with, which most of you, if you're on ODSH, are probably not on a dedicated server, you have 15 minutes for this thing to run. And if it doesn't finish, it's not going to finish. They're going to stop the thing. So you want to make sure that this guy, especially for the first couple iterations, you want to make sure that this guy is changing and that the one month is adding to this each time it runs. To make sure that this can run, a lot of times what you can do is when you create your variable, so things to run code on, you can say environment, and we're going to go with hr.employee, and we're going to go with search, yeah, not search, and we're going to say we want to create a variable that gets set by this code here as true, or maybe a date or something else like that, and we would say um, date last run is less than, oh, I'm getting all over the place, is less than date time dot date time dot now, and then we would go ahead and do a time delta to set that back a bit. Anyway, what you can do is you can say, I want this to keep running until it's set the date last run within that parameter. And I'm going to go ahead and say, only run this on 10 records at a time so that we make sure and finish in time. That's a good way to make sure that these scheduled actions run completely and are able to finish off without getting stopped. So there you go. That's a brief overview of scheduled actions. You can use those to do a ton of different things. 
And it's really useful to know how to use this in case you want to run things periodically. Again, be very careful with the data set you're working with. Make sure that it's small enough that it can run efficiently. And beyond that, if you have any questions, as always, please drop them in the comments and subscribe if you feel like that, because that helps me too. Thanks.